All right, so let's go. Oh, wow, look at that. There's like a flying... That looks like a wasp. Um... Oh my goodness, that's... Guys, that's... I don't... Oh, shit! <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to start Season 2 of Osiris New Dawn playing in Experimental. Um, I didn't get all... Everything done I wanted to do in Season 1 in uh, the release uh, version of Osiris, but... I was watching a video last night of another YouTuber who uh, was kind of showcasing Experimental, and it's like, are you kidding me? We've got to play that. Uh, so if you don't know about Experimental, um, the current version of Experimental, which is uh, down in the lower left-hand corner, uh, 0.4.581, um, they have they have changed a lot of stuff in this, and the map on Proteus 2 is, is gorgeous now. It looks kind of like a No Man's Sky planet. Um, and, you know, they've made a bunch of other changes, too, and I haven't read up on all of them, but I've seen it, put it this way, I've seen enough to know, hey, I want to start playing that now. Um, we got, uh, you know, I, I would say we definitely got close to what you might consider end game in Season 1. I mean, we got up into space, I landed on uh, Aziel um, in the in the live stream on Saturday, and then we landed on Lutari uh, on, on the last episode. Um, and by the way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually probably release... Uh, all the rest of the episodes uh, back to back for those of you who want to finish out season one. I had them scheduled over the next few days, but since we're starting over an experimental right now, um, uh, I'll just release all of those at the same time for anybody who wants to watch them. Um, so, yeah, um, very cool changes um, in experimental. I mean, you know, the release version, well, when I say release version, I mean the early access uh, stable version of Osiris. It has so many bugs anyways so that you know, experimentals probably, if we in, encounter more bugs, and I mean like, you know, code bugs, not actual bug bugs, it, it's not going to hardly matter because, you know, we just know the game's currently buggy, but they're working on it and adding new content is really cool. So, okay, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Uh, we're going to do a single player game, and I'm going to actually delete, uh, I, I had a, a little test character, I, I didn't even hardly play for like maybe five minutes at the most. Um, so we're going to create a new character here. Uh, once again... Even though, I, well, I don't know, maybe the skill points are actually working now in experimental. I haven't heard one way or the other, but we're going to assume that they are. Um, so we're going to go with the ranger again, since that we have an even distribution of points. Um, we're going to go back to our blue and um, black colors here like we had before. And for the detail color, I don't know, maybe the yellow doesn't really look like yellow. Yeah, this this part still doesn't really work so well, but... Uh, you know, hardly even matters, really. Uh, let's just do red. I think that's what we did last time. And then for glow, uh, we'll do uh, we'll do a blue. Okay, uh, so we'll confirm that. I don't care about any of this stuff. Let's just continue on here. Uh, we're going to put one point into speed, and that's probably the only speed point I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to do three health, three strength, and three stamina to start out. We're going to confirm. Uh, for engineering, we want to get to the conduit bender ASAP, assuming it's still OP like it uh, was before. Um, for science, we're going to get to uh, the the forge and then the chemical station as soon as possible, and then uh, the small solar panel so we can do the printer. And then in combat, we're going to go right to uh, the furnace, and um, that should use up pretty much all of the points that we currently have available to us. Oh, I guess we can. I don't think we're going to mess with a workbench. Um, so, yeah, we might as well put a point here because we're going to have to go down this tree for other things anyways. So, let's see. We have one more, or four more points in science. Um, that's a six-pointer. Yeah, I'm going to sit on those points because it's really important that we get here and here as soon as possible. Um, okay, so, yeah, let's confirm. And we're going to call this OG, and let's do it. Uh, oh, custom. Yeah. The only thing I think I'm going to change here is vehicle consumption, uh, fuel consumption. We're going to knock that down to half because I think it was too excessive. And we'll do the first person hit reaction setting. And I think everything's drop on uh, inventory on death. Require pressurization to eat. No, I don't think so. Um, and I think I'm going to, yeah, just leave everything else the way that it is. Okay. Let's confirm and create. Here we go. 
All right, I'm excited, man. If you guys have not seen the new the new map, um, it, it's just so cool. Uh, you'll see. You'll see. It's going to be really neat. And, um, you know, they've made some changes to the UI. Uh, for example, we have an actual map now. Um, I don't know if we still have the handheld scanner thing, but we do have an actual map. Um, so it starts out exactly the same way. We grab our tape. F1 is now uh, the inventory. It used to be F2. We put the tape down there. And then uh, we just go to uh, 5 and use the tape to fix our suit. Uh, then we pick up the bandage and go to F1. Um, we'll just use this directly from here since there's only one. Okay. Uh, this looks this UI looks a little bit different too. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Uh, but it seems like it might be just a little bit different. I don't know. Break that and hop out of the ship. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Look at, look at already the map. There's like a a forest over there with colorful trees and everything is just so cool um and you know the other thing too is i believe i believe that when we start the game we start in different places because when i did my little like five minute test i was in a completely different location than this so that's kind of new too uh, all right so let's make a couple of quick changes here we're going to put uh, our knife in slot one i guess we do still have the handheld thing too um we'll put this in slot two for now we have our tape, and then, you know, we'll figure out, you know, some bandages and that sort of thing later on. Uh, okay, so, uh, let's see here. Uh, v is still third person, so we got that going for us. And our knife will be our, our combat uh, melee weapon until we can get the conduit bender. Assuming, again, like I said, the conduit bender is still, um, you know, way OP. And then, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and start picking up and gathering stuff. Just like we did in uh, the previous playthrough. And I'm excited, man. This is going to be so neat to see, you know, what the, the changes are in experimental and uh, experience the new map and that sort of thing. Uh, they're working on, uh, they're working on uh, Aziel, the, the ice planet, but it's not in this particular experimental release. But they're, uh, I'm not exactly sure everything that's going on, but they're redoing it, making it look better, that sort of thing. So uh, looking forward to, to those changes for sure. Um, you know, one nice thing about the place that I landed in my five minute test game is there wasn't any grass nearby, so it was really easy to see all the stuff on the ground, but uh, <laughs> that's not the case now. So we're going to have to really kind of look, uh, look around uh, for the stuff. Uh, what? There we go. It can sometimes be a little bit weird getting, uh, the panels when you're, when you're doing this. There we go. And we're going to need all this debris for a shelter and for storage space. Oh, yeah, man. This this is going to make it really hard to find stuff, this grass. Oh, uh, okay. Is there some way I can turn the grass off? I guess not. We're just going to have to really look closely for green outlined items. Yeah, this was not a good, <laughs> a good place to start from that standpoint. Oh, geez. Okay, um... I mean, I'm not, I'm not hardly seeing anything in the way of, like, the supplies and stuff. This is really hard. Uh, what's this? This is just probably more debris, right? No, that's a, a crab thing. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that kind of sucks, man. I almost wished I would have just recorded my test game because yeah, it is very difficult to see. I mean, there's usually bandages and food and, you know, other supplies and stuff like that. Um, on the ground around the crash site, but I just I'm not seeing it. Um, I'm sure it's here. It's just super difficult to see. What's is there anything down this way? That's just green stuff on the ground. Yeah. Well, doggone it. So what? Oh, I have to hit F1 now. We found one thing of water, a fuel tank. Okay, I guess we did find some food, but we didn't find like, um, we didn't find like the, um, uh, what, what was I saying? There's a couple other things that you, you usually find too. Well, all right. Well, you know, if that's all we can find, that's all we can find. We're going to have to just make the best of it. There might be some stuff on the hill up here. Let's take a look at that real quick. Oh yeah. Okay. There's a, there's a first aid kit. That's good. Uh, and here's a barrel. Okay. So we'll pick that up. 
There's new um, there's new minerals too, like, like there's silver, for example, and and some of the other minerals that we <clears throat> excuse me we saw in the menu, but weren't on the uh, weren't actually able to find in the last stable release, uh, at least not on Osiris. Or, I'm sorry, not Osiris, but uh, Proteus. Okay, uh, looks like we have quite a bit of stuff up here that we can salvage, so let's hit that. We've already um, salvaged all of the stuff that we need for the for the little tutorial, which is good. But, you know, we're going to use quite a bit of this in the early game here, so let's just grab as much of it as we can. Uh, we got a piece down here. And can we reach this from here? Yeah, it looks like we can. Um, can't quite get to that from here, so let's do this. We'll get up with our... Our, um, hover, hover boots, and then we got stuff here. This is actually a, uh, oh, G dismantle. Oh, okay, just hit G, and that's all we got to do. Um, this is a, uh, an actual old base. This is like a ruined airlock. Interesting. So, left mouse button to salvage that. Now this one ha it has to be G to dismantle because it's already attached. Wait, what? Dismantle. Uh, did we actually dismantle that? I'm not. I'm not sure. A little confused. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. And what about in here? This is a ruined habitat. Left. Really? We can salvage the whole thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, that was like the whole frame. All right, uh, begin repairs. I almost wonder if we could actually set up shop here. Probably not. Besides, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to build a base in a grassy area, anyways. Man, there's a lot of salvage in here, though. It's a biodome. We're getting steel and stuff too, which is really good. We're gonna need that. This is a salvage, and this is a dismantle with a G. Okay, yeah, we got some. Uh, we got a lot of stuff out of that. My goodness, uh, we got 22 steel, eight rubber, 25 iron ingots, and 49 space debris. That's not bad, and some glass too. That's not bad, man. That is not bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out where we want to set up our base. As far as I know, the map is more or less the same. Oh, and speaking of which, if you press uh, F1 is inventory, F2 is crafting, F3 is the actual map. So we didn't have this in release. Um, so we can actually look at the map now and see where we are, which is really nice. Um, so um, I think, and I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I think that the... The, the overall map is still the same, but it just has a lot more features to it. But I could be wrong about that. I'm not 100% sure. Why are those still showing up like that? That is odd. Hmm. Okay. So, um, let's go. I mean, I, I'm not entirely sure where I'm at. Man, those are some seriously high columns. I don't, I don't think those were, were on Proteus before. I think that's new, you guys. I don't remember a column that was that high up in the air. I just remember like the floating rocks. Okay, well, here, let's go get some berries for bandages. It's going to be kind of a, a tough situation to do this, though, in the grass, because we're going to have a hard time seeing the berries. Well, maybe not these, because these are red. Let's get our light on. Uh, did I just hear a monster? I'm not sure. Yeah, they, they are kind of hard to see, aren't they? Okay, there's probably a couple more berries, but I'm not sure where they would be. Okay, here's another crap piece. Uh, like we did in the, in this, uh, the stable season that we started, uh, we're going to actually make a crab hut to start with so we can conserve our salvage uh, or our space debris for other things uh, wait 
Left mouse button build. Yeah, something's something's weird with all this wireframe stuff on now. H hide blueprints. Oh, wait, what? Dismantle. Okay, we got some stuff off of that. Oh, are you are you saying we can, we can? Oh, wow! Look at that. We can actually take this whole thing apart or salvage it. Oh man, nice! You used to not be able to salvage these. Um, begin repairs. I don't want to do that. Does that mean you can actually repair these and make them operational again? That would be cool. Okay, this is a G for dismantle. Salvage that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if, if, if that's the case or not. It doesn't seem to let me salvage the body, but these some of these parts along the side I've, I've been able to do. That's kind of neat. You can see in there. Okay, well, anyway, we need to we need to figure out where we're going to live. So um, there's also now flying creatures in the game. I think there used to be flying creatures a long time ago, too. So they are now back in the game. I don't know if they are hostile or not. But let's just kind of head west here. Um, I'm not really digging the head bob so much. Is that something we can turn off? Oh, I don't want film grain, bloom, or depth of field. Terrain detail low. Let's turn that up and graphics quality up but the shadow distance can come down yeah first person camera bob i want that stuff will like turn way down and camera shake way down i just don't really care much for that stuff first person helmet oh that's cool so now you can have your helmet on um i don't i don't know what glitch effects is but so i guess we'll just leave that on right now okay save and continue resume Oh, yeah, I can tell a difference in the graphics. They do look a little bit nicer now. All right, cool. Um, does E still holster? Yeah, okay, it does. So we'll we'll worry about the, um, you know, the ores and that sort of thing after we, we find our, our place to live. I don't want to set up a base in the thick grass because it's just a pain in the butt, even though it looks really awesome. This is so cool looking, you guys. There's a lot of new stuff here for us to discover. All right, so let's go. Oh, wow, look at that. There's like a flying... Oh, shit. That looks like a wasp. Um... Oh, my goodness. That's... Guys, that's... I don't... Oh, shit. Yeah, I think those guys are hostile. <laughs> oh, no. There's wasps in the game now. Or some kind of flying hornet thingamadoodle. All right. We uh, we probably don't want to tangle with those guys. They probably will hurt us, you think? Okay, so let's go this way. Seems like your guy walks a lot s more slowly now than before, too. Okay, see, this is... Oh, Cobalt. Yeah, see, I, I never did come across Cobalt in the release game. It doesn't look like Bloom is is turned off. Let's go back in here. Settings. Oh, did I not... Wait, I did say save and continue. Okay, so yeah, it's... it's whoa, shit. It still has that same... Oh, he's hurting us. Ow! It still has that same... Um, problem where... The settings don't all, all, you know, change over. Okay, so he, he stung us, but he's not... He doesn't appear to be pursuing us. So maybe he, it's a territorial thing? Man, that is one hell of a big wasp. Okay, um... We need... We're... Uh, no, F1. It's going to take me so long to get used to that. We need to drink something and eat something. And I'm actually going to put this on the toolbar for emergency situations. Let's use one of these now. Uh, so we're back to full health. Okay. Um, I do like this area. It, it does look pretty cool, but, 
you know, we, we're going to need a flat. Can I just see something else over here? Oh, yeah, there's a one of the Skelliopod dudes. Uh, we're going to need a big, you know, flat area for, for the base, of course, because there's no terrain manipulation in the game. Oh, look, the, the, the monsters now have a hit bar. Oh, cool. I think I would was mentioning something about wanting to have that in the in the stable release. Oh, that is great, man. I love it. This guy doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to play anymore. Okay, what's this stuff here? Lithium. Okay, so lithium is now an actual deposit on Proteus. Before, it was only a deposit on um, on the moon. L Latari? Yeah, the moon Latari. Where'd that guy go? Oh, he's up. Oh, shit! Get the hell away from me! Oh, we killed him. Okay, what does this guy give us? Insect creature. It's a dead wasp. He gave us... What did he give us? Uh... Nothing. I don't think he gave us anything. Wow, look at how vibrant these colors are when the sun comes out. Oh man, that is so cool looking. I'm glad I'm glad we're switching over to experimental. Uh, all right, so we got a lot of kind of blue ground too, which is interesting. There's another skeleopod. Okay, I'm still not seeing a, a really large flat area yet, so let's just keep looking around. Uh, I don't want to load up, you know, on minerals and stuff until we know where we're gonna live. Yeah, the, these big ginormous columns were not in the game before, so that is new, too. That goes out to the Graboid area, the big giant worm dudes. That's all new, but we'll, we'll figure all that stuff out later. we got to find our, our home location. Okay, there's a, there's a hydrogen deposit right there. That could be useful living right next to one of those. Um, let's kind of look around. See, I, I don't know if that area down there, though, is really big enough. The other thing, too, is it probably would behoove us to be a little more centralized than on the edge of the map. But, you know, I mean, once you get the spaceship in particular, that hardly really matters. You don't suppose being this close to the to the big desert would cause the Graboids to attack our base. Hmm. I don't know, guys. This this is pretty small here. We could probably set up a base here, but we wouldn't have a whole lot of room to, like, land the ship and stuff. Boy, it would be nice to be right next to a, a hydrogen vent, though. Hmm. The thing is, is wherever we decide to set up our base, I... I don't want to move. I, that's going to be our permanent place. Look at that view, though. That is so cool. Um, Just trying to think about this for a second. I, I think it's, you know, like I said, I think it's big enough for the base itself. But where would we put our ship once we get it? It's not, it's not super flat either. We'd have to raise things up a bit, which isn't a problem. Hmm. All right, well, let's keep this place in mind, um, but I think we need to keep looking around here. All right, so lots of minerals around here. Um, and then we were, we're on the western border here. To, oh, no, we're on the northern border. Right, okay. We need to find a, a purple... Uh, purple fern tree thing for the water berries because we'll, we'll be rely on it, relying on those for a little while. So let's go west. So we're on the northern border of the map. I can put this away. Let's go up uh, over this ridge and see what's what. Okay. 
Okay, so that goes out to the desert. That's just kind of like a basin down there. Uh, so let's go this way. Alpha Refinery. Huh, okay. You know, the other thing, though, too, is it was super, super useful to be right next to the beta mine uh, in our other playthrough. Oh, what is this? Is it does. Oh, it's not. It doesn't work. Okay, so it must be. This must be a mine that they're planning on implementing later. It's the Alpha Refinery site. No, wait. This this was beta mine before. Yeah, this was beta mine before because I remember the little buggy outside and then it had, you know, this structure down here with the with the two tanks and this guy was out here too. Um, can we No, we can't take any of this stuff apart. So there should be there should be two uh there should be two crates in here if this is set up exactly the way it was before. Okay, good. We got some water and food, and yep. So, so that area, that mine up there, dehydration detected. Uh, was. Oh, there's a guy in here now. There's nothing to loot on him though. Um, yeah, that was beta mine in in the in the stable version, but it's it doesn't appear to be active anymore. Let's just check it one more time. Why does it seem like I'm going so much slower in first? person than in third or is it just my imagination I don't know yep nothing no way to get in here hmm that's interesting okay um so if this if the map is in general the same layout as before I want to go there's one of the flying creatures right there that's cool man check that out um, we should be able to find what was beta mine if we kind of just start heading back this general direction. Uh, that's, that's another red tree. We'll probably be able to find the berries easily enough here though. So let's, uh, yeah, red fern berry tree. We need to find a purple or just a fern berry is called. It's not called purple fern berry. I wonder if those flying creatures are hostile. Alright, is that all of them? There we go. Okay, so... Okay, so I still see the arches over there, which was close to where we were on beta mine. So let's crouch and head down this very steep hill here because the more I think about it the more I'd like to you know to be near oh crap uh, a mine a working mine I really like that we now have the the hit bars on these guys. Wow, look at all the iron out here, too. Very cool. Okay, let's um whoop. critical dehydration detected. Let's put our knife away and then move this way. Put the knife away. There we go. Got like a little sand area here. Why did that hurt? Oh, you know why? Because I think it's... We're having some food problems. Let's eat that. We'll drink that and drink this. All right. That'll help a little bit for a short period of time. Uh, more wasps. So, you know, in... um. Dang, that's a lot of them. In the release uh, version, there was a... 
Uh, there was a couple of areas called hives, and I wonder if that's where the wasps are coming from now. All right, let's go down here. I'm not entirely con convinced that the map is the same as before. I mean, there's some things that are familiar, but then there's a lot of things that aren't. All right, this guy's coming after us. He's tough. Okay. Level three hunter parasite. Okay, let's go up this way. All right, that looks like the blood leaf forest over there. Let's actually go over there because there's nitrogen and hydrogen in that area and alpha mine is there. But the question is, does alpha mine still work? Because I, I wouldn't mind running alpha mine either. It's got a fair, de you know, fair n number of chests in it, but it's also got more ore and a chance of diamonds, uh, both in the chest and in as as an actual ore deposit. There's a monster over that way. <laughs> so yeah, uh, hopefully that area is. Still the same as it was before. Okay, we're going to have to probably fight this tick-looking guy up here. Ginormous tick. Serious dehydration detected. Okay. You know, the one thing, though, about the enemy hit bar is it seems to be a little bit... Uh, a little bit too big, you know? I don't know. There's a there's a purple tree up ahead. Let's go harvest that so we can get some berries for hydration. And uh, if we can find a, the plant that gives us the leaves. Okay, yeah, I think sword leaves. We should be able to make bandages with those. No, we need blue palms. Uh, okay, we need blue palms for that. I thought that looked a little different. So, yeah, some of the map looks normal. Uh, we should go pick up those stones, too. But then some of it looks way different. Okay, let's... Get these and these and these and then that said this is a sump up uh, did it say pop up or something? I don't know what that said. Okay, no more resources. Let's go into first person here. Do I hear a, a meteorite? Oh. I think we're we're taking thirst damage. Okay. Critical dehydration detected. Working on it. Um here we go. Are these hurting our health a little bit like that? Yeah, they still are. Okay, that's all right. They don't hurt it that much. And we can counter uh, by taking one of those. And, um, okay, that gets us back into reasonably good shape with our hydration. There's another purple plant over here. Let's go harvest that too. Uh, oh, no, okay, I was going to say, is that one of those wasp guys? Nothing in there. Fernberry tree.
I wonder what the flashing red warning sign is in the upper left hand corner. Oh, it means I'm encumbered. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did pick up quite a bit of uh, stuff. Okay, let's harvest these. Let's hit that so we don't run into it. Alright, now uh, I keep hitting F2. Actually, I do want to hit F2. So now we can make makeshift bandages. We'll save our bigger bandages for emergency situations. Excellent. Okay, and then let's uh, let's do our sort, and uh, we're gonna just take one of uh. these to get our health topped off. Okay, so where's the blood leaf force? It's over this way. Let's go check this out. If Alpha Mine works here. We're probably going to base here, or very close to it. Ah! Okay, so yeah, this is the, the valley with the hydrogen vent, so that's the same, plus it spawns a, a crab. Nice. Looks like it adds something to like a, a oh shit, uh, like a beastie area or something too, like we just discovered the crab species. Oh, here comes more. Scaliopods. Okay. We discovered them. Nice. And that looks like that looks like plutonium. Oh, where did you come from? Uh, he's running from us. We can't catch him. We're we're you. This seems like your dude's a lot slower. Of course. Oh well. I guess I'm encumbered, huh? <laughs> I forgot about that. I am encumbered. So there is that. All right. He buggered off. We can't catch him. We're, we're too. We're too fat at the moment. All right, let's put that away. Is this plutonium? Oh, it's uranium. Man, there are so many new minerals and ores, guys. That's crazy. Okay, so there's a hydrogen vent there, which is what I was hoping for. Are you going to come back for more, or what you going to do? What you going to do, boy? Okay, let's go up this way. There should be nitrogen vents up here. Oh, you know what? It looks like our dude automatically crouches when he... What's that? Sulfur. That's new. Okay, there are the nitrogen vents, so that's good. I wonder what that green stuff is. We're going to find out in a second. Oh, that's sulfur. Okay. Yep, nitrogen vent. Okay. Uh, What are these yellower looking things? Oh, those are the same thing. It's just the way the light was shining on it. Okay. All right, let's go to the to the alpha mine entrance and see if that still works because if it does this we're, we're basing here or somewhere very close to here and we, we got to find a place because I'm I'm getting really heavy mine one entrance oh so it's not even called alpha mine anymore huh Ooh, looks like we arrived just in time we should be safe as long as we stay behind this bank from that dust storm. Oh, <coughs> okay, so this is a good place for a base, you guys, because we have Alpha Mine to run. We have um, sulfur, or not sulfur, we have um, nitrogen, we have hydrogen nearby. With two ingredients that we need for, we need those to make hydrazine for fuel, but we need hydrogen for a whole bunch of other stuff too. So now it's just a matter of finding the best building spot in, within this area. I don't think I want to live right in the Bloodly Forest, only because I don't think we'll have enough room. Is this just a normal... Yeah, that's an outcropping. Uh, we won't have enough room 
for everything, I don't think, if we live directly in the blood leaf. Unless we kind of figure out a, a fancy way to make it work. I'm not sure. But, all right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you go here. And um, in the next episode, we will... Uh, I'll, actually, what I'll probably do is just look around this area until I find uh, the build site that I want. And then I'll start the next episode when we find that location. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.